Let's continue our work with pay periods and hourly rates. Example one, Christina is paid bi-weekly. Her annual salary is 37,000. What is her bi-weekly salary? Rounded to the nearest cent. All right, so we know that Christina makes $37,000 every single year. We know that if she gets paid bi-weekly, that she gets paid every other week, for example, on Friday. We know that there are 52 weeks in a year and that if she gets paid every other week, that she will get paid 26 times during the year. So let's take her annual pay and let's divide it by the 26 pay checks that she will receive. So we have 37,000 divided by 26. We can see that to the nearest cent, she will get $1,423.08. $1,423.08. And she will receive that on every pay, pay period. So every other week, she will take that home before taxes and deductions, of course. All right, now it's your turn to try. Carlos earns X dollars bi-weekly, okay? Express his annual salary algebraically. Now note, because it says algebraically, you will have a variable in your final answer. Also note, this time they give us the bi-weekly pay. Pause the video. Give it a try. Example two, Manny is paid semi-monthly. Now do note, this is different than bi-weekly. Semi-monthly, he will get paid twice a month, but it will be on specific days of the month. His semi-monthly salary is $1,239. What is his annual salary? Okay, so we know that Manny gets $1,239 every month. Well, let's say this again. He gets paid that every pay period twice a month. So he will get $1,239 twice a month for 12 months. So he will earn this 24 times. Let's take our calculator again. $1,000. $239 times 24 times. So his annual salary is $29,736. $29,736. Your turn to try. Alex is paid semi-monthly. His annual salary is Y dollars. Express his semi-monthly salary algebraically. Note the final answer will be will have a variable y. And also note you are finding his semi-monthly salary. Pause the video, give it a try. Example three. Maureen is a manager at a local Chicken King restaurant. Her hourly, her regular hourly wage is $15.70. If she works regularly 40 hours per week, what is her regular weekly pay? Okay, so we know that she makes $15.70 per hour. And we know that she is working 40 hours per week. Let's multiply those together and determine how much she makes per week. So we have $15.70 times the 40 hours that she works. So she earns $628.00 per week. Now it's your turn to try. Roger regularly works eight hours per week at a rate 
of D dollars per hour. Express his annual salary algebraically. Pause the video, give it a try. Example four. If Maureen from example three works overtime, she gets an hourly rate of one and a half times her regular hourly rate, aka time and a half. What is Maureen's hourly overtime rate? Well, if we look back at example three, we know that Maureen was earning $15.70 an hour. So her regular pay was $15.70 an hour. We know that her overtime pay will be that pay times one and a half. So we're going to take the 1570 and we're going to multiply it by one and a half or 1.5 so 1570 times time and a half we know that if she works overtime hours she'll make 2355 per hour 2355 which is pretty good Now it's your turn to try. If Marianne earns Y dollars per hour regularly, express her hourly overtime rate algebraically if she is paid time and a half. Pause the video, give it a try. Example five, Janice earns $16 per hour. If her regular hours are 40 hours per week and she receives time and a half overtime, find her total pay for a week in which she works 45 hours. All right, so we know that Janice worked 40 hours of regular time and she worked five hours of overtime because she is supposed to work 40 hours. So we know for those first 40 hours, she will earn $16 per hour. So 40 times 16. We also know for those extra five hours, she will earn one and a half times her $16 per hour rate. So one and a half times the $16. So we have here, her regular pay plus her overtime pay. So we have 40 times 16 plus five hours of overtime pay at time and a half times her regular pay, which is $16 an hour. That's a total of $760. All right, now it's your turn to try. Ron regularly works 40 hours per week at a rate of X dollars per hour. Last week, he worked Y hours of overtime at a time and a half rate. Express his total weekly salary algebraically. Now note, this is an algebraic expression and it will have the variables X and Y. Pause the video, give it a try. Now it's your turn to get some practice. Go to Financial Algebra textbook page 303 and 304. Complete questions 2 through 16. Show your work. Submit it on Canvas for credit.